Welcome to this video in which we will learn how we can perform simulations in SOLIDWORKS. We simply apply specific loads or forces to designated areas of the part or assembly and we get to know that how the part responds to the applied load and determining stress concentration and deformation. So let's see how we can do this. First select file, click on new, select part and click OK. We will be making a part first. Select top plane and click on sketch and make a center rectangle at this origin. Make sure that you have selected MMGS as uh, units. This one MMGS. Now specify the dimensions of this rectangle. Specify this side as 80 mm and similarly this side as 80 mm as well. Now go to features, select extruded boss base and this 10 mm is ok for the extrusion. Click ok. Now select this face, click on sketch and make another center rectangle at the origin. Select center rectangle, make a center rectangle at this origin, specify the dimensions 25 by 25 mm. And this says 25 mm OK. Click OK. Now go to features, select extruded boss base, specify 200, click enter. Increase the length of this uh, beam as uh, 250 mm. It looks fine now and then click OK. So far we have created this part and now it's time to move on to simulation part. But uh, if you do not have simulations in the tabs for that you have to go to this adds in option and you have to check this box simulation solid solid work simulations and check this box and then click OK. It will take some time. Let me change the background to plain white. Okay. So here I have simulations and also here is uh, simulation as well. So go to simulations, drop down this menu and select new study. From here you can rename the file or keep it. Check this option. And now we have to specify some material. For that, select this apply material option. This is a large list. You can assign any material to the part. I am assigning this one. And these are the properties for this material. Click on apply. And then click on close. So the material has been assigned to this part. And now we have to fix some side of this part. For that, drop down uh, this option and select fixed geometry option. We have to fix some side of this uh, part. I am fixing this back side and then click OK. And now we have to apply some force. For that, drop down this uh, external load advisor select here force and now we have to select some area where we need to apply some force in this window select this uh, horizontal line and you can see the direction of the force is uh, somewhat left to right but how we can change the direction from top to down for that select this option and in this window in this window select any vertical side and you can see the direction of the force has been changed now it is from top to down and here we can specify the amount of load that we want to apply on this part okay so check this box now 
and now it's time to run this it will take some time in processing and here you can see our part has deformed which simply means that 500 Newton is just too much for this part now right click the stress option and click on animate and here you can see the animation and you can observe the stress specifically on this part you can adjust the speed of this animation from here specify 50 or any number and you can observe the speed and you can now observe the stress here on this part so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you